Greetings everyone and welcome back to Night of the Dead. It's not too long after the end of the last episode when we went to the military base and of course we began farming. I'm going to pop over to the farm tomorrow to see what we actually have over there. Uh, when I do that, I'll kind of record it and that way we can see together because I am very curious how that's going to work. I'm going to have to make sure I have some manure with me so I can replant. Otherwise, it's a long trip for nothing. Now, what I've been working on in the meantime is I've started installing electricity. And I think we're at the part right now where we can do some things together so you get an idea of what I'm planning. And for you experts out there, you can say, no, you don't want to do that. You really don't want to do that. So we'll see how that works out. Another thing I want to do is I want to pop over to the... Um, the harbor over there to see about getting a book because there is a book that will allow me to make something that I can upgrade that. I just need that one object and uh, yeah this guy will be able to go 90 kilometers per hour which I'm very happy with. Oh look our buddy has showed up. So I think the first two are actually out. Can he make it through? I don't think so. Nope. Nope. I had high hopes for him. You know, the last one actually made it all the way to the trap door. I was so proud of him. And after that point, he just basically waited under there for me. Oh, well, let's take a quick look at what's going on. And yes, this is all wood. It's not going to be wood. As a matter of fact, I kind of ran out, so I have to watch my footing over here. Uh, yeah, this is obviously going to be all stone. We've learned the uh, We've learned the lesson of that that wood collapses when things explode. Um, I am going to have to do a lot of gathering and such. The stonification is a very boring process and uh, you don't need to see it. All right, so you can see I do have uh, some of these guys. Yeah, I put two of them in backwards. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, is I'm going to make a battery bank. All of them hooked together. It's going to be my mass storage. Now, these guys are only level one, so they're only storing 50,000. I am going to upgrade them. We're going to do that together, by the way. The idea here is I'm probably going to have maybe three more. I may actually upgrade them again because I want a huge store of power. Now, what people generally do here is they'll have a big store of power. And where's the electricity? And then what they'll use is the battery eliminator. So the connection goes in and then 10 connections go off. So each connection will... Next, go to another battery. For instance, let's say I'm talking about the, uh, the missile launcher, which I'm going to add, right? So I'll have the battery eliminator down. The power is coming in from the last of the batteries. And then one of the connections will go off to another battery, which will be fairly well upgraded. That connection will then go to the trap controller, which has a switch. So I don't need a separate switch for it. And of course, I'm going to set it to giants. And then it'll go to the missile launcher. Now, for some reason, something bad happens, it should take out the battery, and it should end there if there's a problem. See, that way you basically protect everything else if one connection goes bad. It's the same thing here. See, you would have like a, a connection, another battery eliminator going for each one of these, and then we'd have a switch, and then we'd have the battery, and then that battery would connect into the uh, eliminator and then would go in here. So if I overdrew power or something, it should at very least blow out the battery and not affect anything else. I think I have that right. I hope I do. Because if it all explodes, I'm going to die. And I do need, of course, a rocket launcher going this way. And I need one on the other side going the other way. I think we're good with one in the beginning. Once you have one, you can always put more in. And like I said, you don't really need a switch for that because it's going to be going into the trap controller and the trap controller by its nature has a switch. And it also has a lot of connections it can go off on. Anyway, like I said, I want to do some upgrading here. Now, what do I need to upgrade you? Let's see here, T. Okay, I have enough of everything else I need electric plates and pulse transformer. All right, let's see about that. Because their first upgrade is uh, very important. Yeah, I have upgraded this fully now. So let's see here. Um, I think they're in the second one. 
Yeah, electric plate, I need three of those. And pulse transformer, I need three of those. There we go. Like I said, these guys at the moment hold 50,000. So when they get upgraded, 300,000. All right, let's do this. And then let's move over to here. And you can see it actually still holds the power. It's just the number of bars is a lot smaller now. All right, and this one here. Now all the power is flowing over to here, of course, to fill this one up. This is gonna be 300, this is gonna be 300. So we went from 150,000 watts to 900,000 watts. Now I'm wondering also, can I upgrade maybe just like one or two of these guys? Let's see, what do we need? Okay, I need, I have two of these, titanium. I think I have titanium in here. Okay, I'm hearing the whistling like somebody's coming for me. I'm guessing that means it's in the uh, the water here. All right. Oh, let me get this out of my hands before I do something terrible. Okay, storage. Okay, I'll take the plugs. I'll also take those. They're useful. All right, what about, I think maybe in here, F, aluminum. Okay, you know what? Why don't I just take these guys with me because they're useful to have. Which does remind me, we're going to have to talk about my merging because I got very lucky. Right now, did I have everything that I needed? Trying to remember. I think there was something else. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. All right, open this. It was these guys. I needed two of them. There we go. All right, we might as well upgrade these two, the ones that are facing the other direction, because why not? All right, do this. Upgrade. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so I do believe... See, they were generating 25 power, and now it says they generate 50. I'm hoping they break less often. You see, I've gone back to the other base where I have seven, and I found five of them broken. So you have to fix them. I mean, the batteries were full already. It's just, you don't want that happening at a bad time. All right, so this guy should be pumping these guys up with power better. Did somebody get through? I'm kind of hoping they get through. Okay, you guys. Okay, you're going to have to go that way. You have no choice. Okay, you can't even figure out how to do that. Come on, someone's got to make it through. Okay, you didn't make it through. You didn't make it through. Nope, nope. What about you? I believe in you. Oh, well. I heard the pitter-patter of feet. So is there somebody else? Yeah, they're, they're probably annoyed at me. Where are you? Beating on that or something? Oh, there it is. Yep, even you have to run the gauntlet. Come on, I believe in you. You can make it throw. Oh, well. I wanted to see them fall in the water. It's just so fun. Yet there's still somebody over there, because I'm hearing the whistling. No? Maybe they're in the water already. All right, anyway, like I said, I'm probably going to have maybe like three more. I could do another stack on top. Uh, we'll see how that works out. But the first things I want to power, of course, are these guys. I'm going to have to upgrade them, of course. But, I mean, that's what we're going to be doing in terms of power. Um, I don't know if I'm going to string power all the way over to there. I might have a separate power source for the, um, the other rocket launchers and the giant deterrents. See, I don't need the power over there for any other reason because even if the majors and the minors come from this direction, they're going to be going up that. So, I mean, all I have to worry about is that and, of course, the power that I need for the traps that are going to be on there, including, of course, the, uh, the two trap doors over there. Yeah, they're going to require power. Otherwise, they're going to run out quickly. All right, so that's what I'm doing with the electricity. And I need a lot of bricks 
and a lot of cement in order to make that happen because this has all got to be at very least stone. You know, if I could just go right to metal, it would probably be a lot easier for me because I have a lot of iron ore. I mean, I have a lot of iron ore. I should probably get those, uh, those diggers going. It would probably be for the best. All right, now I mentioned that we got a lot of stuff when we were at the military base, and I started doing some merging. I hit the jackpot. By jackpot, I mean I got an iron helmet that has Fortress 2, Chilling 1, and Toxic 3, and 5, count them, 5 open coil slots. So, yeah, that's what I consider to be the jackpot right there. I have never even seen a common item with five coil slots. The only one I've seen is this, and then I have another one, too, with five slots. I think I have another one that had three, so I got lucky with that. But right there, that's why you do a whole bunch of merging, right there. So I was, gonna, I was thinking of using this one, but nah, nah, we're going to go with this one. I'm going to do upgrading to... Um, make it better but i don't think i'm gonna get better than that all right so what are we doing here in addition to this well yeah we're gonna go over to the harbor because there's a book there that i need can i see it yeah right over here there's a book and uh that's gonna allow me to make an object that whoops that will allow me to upgrade this again i do believe there's just one object that i need you know, I'm probably going to have to... Yeah, i got to repair this. Um, get this out of my way. This thing is dangerous. All right, T to open. Where is it? All right, grab that. All right, and then let's do this again, and let's do a quick repair. Right, and then let's hit the old T. Right, the turbocharger. That's what the book will allow me to do. Now, I have springs back at the other base, and I also have these objects here. Shouldn't be a problem. I have titanium ingots, of course. Now, titanium alloy is basically just titanium ore and, of course, aluminum ore. Here. He was confused, I think. Did you make it through? No, 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 no. See, I was confused him because I was standing on top of that. No, no, get back to what you were doing. Yep, yep, go on, go on. Come on, you can make it. That might be running out of turns anyway, so... I just want to see you fall. Yes! 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 Go on! I believe in you! You can make it! You're a winner! You're gonna get to eat me! And oh! Into the water. Oh well. Didn't I say it was funny? It's funny. All right, so what we're going to do here now is... That, oh, that does remind me, though. That does remind me. We got a new toy, didn't we? Yeah, we got a new toy. All right, so let's take a look at the old scope. I have not changed it. All right, so you can see us looking at that point right there. Right, so let's just uh, go over to inventory for a moment. Let's take that out. Uh, where is it here? Where did that go? Oh, I went back into its spot, didn't it? Yeah, I need to pick one of these because... All right, over here. Put that in. Let's take out this measly little two-scope here. And let's put in... Where did it go? Okay, we got we got two fours. Unfortunately, can't merge them together to make an eight. But that should do. All right, so let's take a quick look now. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Can you imagine what the 16 would be like? Oh, my goodness. That would be just amazing. Okay, so I have a lot of garbage in my inventory, which I need to get rid of. So that's what I am going to work on now. And then we're going to get in the um, the vehicle, and then we're going to head over here. I'm guessing that there's probably a road leading over here. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, by the way, there was something else. I was thinking, do I want to make the armored boat? Because I do want to make the armored boat, after all. If for no other reason, just to have it, right? And, uh, well, here, let me just show you the problem that I have here. Um, all right, so, boom. So it needs a V12 engine, not a problem. I can make one. I can actually make one here now. The problem is that I need an exhaust. We used the only exhaust that we had to upgrade the armored car previously. And of all the vehicles I've taken apart in this game, 
I only got that one and you can't buy it. So I am going to have to take a lot of vehicles apart to try to get another one. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get that. All right, so I am going to offload and try to uh, empty my inventory and then we'll get going. Ooh, parking lot. Okay, there's a lot of cars around here. Maybe there's an exhaust in one of them. All right, I got to believe that if I keep going in this direction and then bear to the left, that I'm going to run into a road leading to the harbor. Logistics. I wonder what they have in there. All right, let's see. Uh, let's just head this way and see, and not crash into anything. Okay, what is that? I guess that's like a restaurant or something like that. Okay, is that the road down? I mean, it might be. Okay, go away. Get off of my vehicle. I'm going to have to repair it again. Oh, really? Yikes. Okay, this is interesting. How? I mean, it could be over here. All right, let's go over here. All right, let's just get into the parking lot here and see if we can get ourselves a... Um, Wow, a lot of cars. A lot of cars. Hold on a second. Yeah, and I brought my little friend here on top. Hey, you, get over here. Splato. Just don't stand near my vehicle while I'm doing that. All right, let's see. Yeah, I mean, fuel is good. An exhaust would be better. I just grab that and then take it apart. I really wish the take all would exit the screen. I think that would be just make sense. Look, for take all. Is there anything else I want to do in here? No, I have to hit escape then to get in there. I just wish in one move it just did both of them, you know? I know, I'm a complainer. Okay, you're my horde. At least you were. You're just an innocent bystander. With a mask on. Oh, no. Get over there! Come on, where are you? Was he a friend of yours? Join your friend. Oh! Ow! Yeah, and I, I caught fire, of course. Well, my healing is very good. Actually, I could probably use some... Yeah, unfortunately, it just doesn't let you do anything while you're doing that. Even if you go into your inventory, it just knocks you out of your inventory, which is really annoying. All right, some beans. Beans make the pain go away. All right, and... I don't suppose... <gasps> I got an exhaust! Oh, wow, that's amazing. Okay, so that means we're going to be able to make the armored boat. I don't think I could get it in there where we're doing the um, the other one, but we can definitely make it at the um, the bridge base and maybe do a little, like, traveling around. So that's really good. I was thinking I was going to have to take a whole bunch of them apart. All right, first things first. I'm just going to grab the gas because why wouldn't I do that? All right, so how far is this around here? Oh, hi. I needed a new wallet anyway. Okay, just sneak in this way. I wonder if this is a POI model that we are going to recognize. And just remember, if we do, then this game had it first. 
What is that? Is that like a ladder for giants? Hello. Goodbye. Okay, can I get in there? And is that exactly what I was looking for? I mean, was it that easy? Yeah, I'm just gonna kill all these guys. Hey, a lady's gotta have a hobby. Ooh, coils, I think, right? Yep, more coils. And we'll take that apart. But I do believe that that is what I was looking for. All right, hold it a second. Take. And, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna take care of this first. Done. Okay, so right here, the Veteran Vehicle Engineer book. Of course, obtainable at the harbor, which is where we are. All right, grab this. And grab this. There we go. Okay, what do you got in here? Uh, useful things. And of course, I'm going to take that apart. All right, well, let's look around. Yes, it does look a little on the familiar side. Can I get in here? Of course I can. And this book, oh, this opens. Hi, how you guys doing? Oh, you're in here too. And I did see. Okay, he's down, you're down. Everybody's down, just not me. I saw a weapons cabinet over here. Oh, I'm poisoned. I'm not poisoned anymore. Okay, what do we get here? Some stuff I can do some merging. Of course, that's uh, tier five, so I guess I'd be going for tier five stuff. Uh, tier four, tier four. Okay, hey, more merging. Um, yeah, handgun. I mean, handgun ammo is okay because I got that hand can in there. Oh, how did I miss all of that? And we get in there. Some more stuff. Is that something? No, it isn't. All right, what do we have up here? Can I get into that building? Of course, we'll go in here. Hello? Do I have to, like, fire off a gun to give them a fair shot? Because otherwise they have... Ooh. Give me that. Give me... Come on. Give me that. There we go. A whole... Wow. Brake fluid. It's all the stuff that I need for the upgrade. All right. So I was about to say, do I need to fire off a gun to give these guys a fair shot? Because they seem completely oblivious to my presence. And this... They have a microwave. Okay, maybe that's where they uh, cook their popcorn. All right, you guys got anything in here? Oh, this looks familiar. Okay, get down from there. I mean, you have a crossbow, but you're facing the wall. What sense does that make? All right, I'll take that because crude oil is always a good thing. Um, boom. Yeah, no crude there. There's no a lid on it. However, there is a lid on this one. Okay, let me guess. Bullets. Yeah, not interested. And this has a lid. Oh, and this is a weapons locker. First, let me get rid of this. All right, what do we got? Tier 4, Tier 5, Tier 4. Tier four. Yeah, I wonder what looting in Snowfield is like. I mean, is everything tier five? Yeah, eventually we're going to have to go up there. I've seen some uh, footage up there, and some of the POIs look very interesting. The one that I really like was the raised subway one. It brings back memories of growing up in Brooklyn. Boom. Oh, see that? I did that to myself. I shocked myself, and I'm on fire, too. So it's silly that this thing is like, oh, don't worry, it protects you from the attack. Yeah, but it doesn't protect me from my own attacks. That's the problem with the stupid thing. 
You know, I just, I was just suffering from two of my effects there. One, I shocked myself. Two, I set myself on fire. Um. Oh, no. And I, I think that was an invincibility one that just kicked in there. So I was safe. You guys got anything in here? Whoa, it's dark. But I do believe I see coils. Okay, I do think that that was the airstrike. All right. Um, that looks like coils to me. Yep, I am running out of space. I'm going to have to do merging back at the base. Did we look in there? I don't think we did. Although I'll take a quick look in here. Yeah, I wish they could make that banner a little less big. Okay, I don't see anything in here that interests me. Can I get over? Yeah, I can go through here. Yeah, this looks familiar. Very familiar. Okay, how do I even reach you? There you go. Um... Okay. Excuse me. Alright, I'll take some crude. Thank you. It seems to be the only thing in this dock that's really useful to me. He is completely unaware of what was happening, even though I was blowing stuff up with my explosions. I mean, I can understand melee weapons being silent, but I mean, I was right in front of him, and there was all kinds of sparklies. You really should have seen it. All right, I should probably... Ooh, does this mean that I could take this apart? Yeah. Okay, crude oil. Break it down. And then we do this. They're separate, after all. That has power, and then we'll take that apart, too. Hello. Yeah, I am going to have to go down to the desert to um, get my stuff. Maybe I'll do that after the horde and I come back. Because after all, it's really here that I need to be working now. Because I need to get the um, the base up and going as soon as possible. Then, of course, we can see about Snowfield. Now, I do have the um, the drinks that will protect me from cold. They don't last as long as the other ones. Could you get away from there? I don't want to blow it up. There we go. Cooperation, it's a thing. And I'll take that apart. And then we'll grab the crude. All right, now where... Okay, it's in my way here. Hold on a minute. All right. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't go away until you, after you research it, so I have to go back over here. All right, so I think this is the way back. Yes, it is. All right, we have to find the fence and then to go all the way to the edge. Here, let me just get up here. Oh, I missed the bag. Yeah, I mean, if you fell in there, you're essentially dead to a degree because there doesn't seem to be any way to get back up unless you had a vehicle down there. And the stamina loss would kill you. As soon as your stamina runs out in water, you start dying. Although any time that I've done it, my self-healing has actually just kept me alive. But I mean, I don't know if it would do that for a long period of time, especially considering at the moment I'm not like buffed. All right, so I got what I wanted mostly over here. When I got the book, but I also got the exhaust, which is a wonderful thing. That way I can start thinking about building the armored boat. All right, here, just jump right in. All right, I'm going to have to start doing stuff with those coils. All right, don't blow anything up. Yeah, I'm going to have to repair this guy again. But it's, it's okay, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, was this the way we came in? No, it isn't. Oh, it's this way. There it is. All right, so let's get back to the bridge. And we're home. All right, so let's just go over here, open this up. 
Yeah, sometimes, unfortunately, I have trouble getting in here. It's a very fine space. Yeah, and unfortunately this thing, I hit another car on the way back, so it's probably not in the best of condition. Let's see, hold on a second. Get that out of my hand. Put this in my hand. 94%. Well, you know what? It is upgraded, isn't it? So it's kind of tough. There's no sense in me upgrading it again until after I get the parts I need. Speaking of which... Let's see, that would be in skill, I believe, and this is the one we're looking for right here. This is going to allow us to make the turbocharger. Boom. And then we have this one, which is the thruster, and for there, we need to go to the underground tunnel in Snowfield. Kind of sounds like a place where you might find, I don't know, a boss fight. Could be. I haven't really been up there. I've seen pictures of it. Like I said, the subway looks interesting. I can't wait to see it. I'm interested also to see if there's new zombies up there. I'm guessing that there are. Yeah, it's taken a while to fill these guys up, isn't it? Especially with two of them, three of them broken. I wasn't away that long. How are three of them broken already? <sighs> yeah... I mean, really, I wasn't away that long. All right, uh, in here, grab some of these. Yeah, it's just kind of silly, isn't it? All right, let's do this, and let's repair them. I mean, after all, they're new, right? Of course they break. Yeah, I noticed the upgraded ones are showing off. I mean, that is kind of silly, right? It wasn't away that long, and I literally just built them before the video. I put the batteries down before putting them up. Ugh. Oh, well. Anyway, I think that that is going to be it for today. So we basically started working on what we're going to do here with the electricity, as you can see. Probably going to put a couple more batteries. Oh, and we have another customer here. Can you make it? I mean, these guys are running out. So, they probably can. Although, these guys are probably still full. You gotta run faster than that. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he made it through, but not quite alive. Well, we have another competitor to see if he can make it. Come on. The crowd is applauding you. You can make it. We believe in you. I guess not. You're just a loser like the rest. Oh, well. Anyway, we got the electricity going here. And of course, with that book, we can now upgrade our armored car once again. Get this guy up to 90 kilometers per hour. I'm guessing that the last book over here is for another upgrade. I don't know, maybe it's an upgrade for the boat or something like that. But I'm guessing we can probably get this thing to move even faster, which sounds like a great idea. Considering that my farm is all the way up here. And of course, my oil is all the way down here. So yeah, a lot of traveling, a whole lot of traveling. So if I can go really fast, that would make things better. Going fast makes things better. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. He doesn't stand a chance. See ya.